Greetings and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have Moto H50 new smartphone and in this video I'll show you top hidden features and tips and tricks. So if you're planning to purchase this phone or you have already bought this then this video can be really helpful for you. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. If you read ebooks, articles etc then you must enable the next feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on display. Scroll down there you will see the option of screen timeout, click on this and then enable this attentive display. So it will prevent your screen from turning off so you don't have to keep on tapping on the phone to keep it on. If you will try to click a screenshot by using your three fingers then you won't be able to do that but you have to use your three fingers and then tap and hold on the display like this then you can click a screenshot. You can use two applications at the same time in a single screen. Firstly open the first application and then open the second application. Then put it in recent and then click on this apps icon. There you will see the option of split top. Click on this and then select the second application. As you can see you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen. You can fully customize your lock screen. You can change the clock style, font style etc. To do that simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize. There you will see the option of lock screen. Click on this. Now if you want to change the clock style click on this. Here you have different options. You can select your favorite one and then click on this cross icon. Now if you want to change this notification style you can also do that. You can select list, chip or bubble. You can also change this quick access settings. You can set your favorite application here. Then click on this back button. Click on later. Now it will change your lock screen style. In this smartphone you can also change this control center style. You have two different options. To change it simply open your settings. Scroll down and then click on home and lock screen. There you will see the option of control center. Click on this. By default it is selected to classic style. You have to select modern style. Now it will change your control center as you can see. When your phone is locked anyone can access your control center and change any of these settings. But if you want to disable this then follow these steps. Simply open your settings. Scroll down and then click on home and lock screen. Click on control center. And there you will see the option of allow access to quick settings and the notification drawer on the locked screen. Simply disable this. Now no one can access your control center or notification center from your locked screen. If you are in hurry and you want to quickly charge your smartphone then you can use the next feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. There you will see the option of charge boost. Click on this and then enable this. Now it will increase your charging speed and you will be able to charge your phone quickly. This phone doesn't show your battery percentage in your status bar but if you want to enable this then open your settings and then click on battery. Scroll down there on the bottom you will see the option of battery percentage. Simply enable this then it will start showing your battery percentage in your status bar. If you want to increase the life spam of your smartphone and increase the battery life then simply open your settings, click on battery and there you will see the option of optimize charging. Click on this and then enable this. Click on OK. Now what it does, it will take a little bit extra time to charge the remaining 20% in your smartphone. So with the help of that, you can increase the lifespan of your battery. If you like to multitask in your smartphone, then you must use the next feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. There you will see the option of sidebar. Click on this and then enable this. It will start showing a transparent bar on the right side of the screen. As you can see, you have to swipe to the left to open this sidebar. Click on next and it has some apps by default but if you want to edit this then click on settings on the bottom here you can add your favorite application and remove unnecessary application from here after this go back now if you will open any application from this sidebar then it will open it in floating window as you can see you can also resize it from the corners drag and drop it anywhere and you can keep on using your smartphone normally and it will remain as floating window on your smartphone so you can use this sidebar to multitask in your smartphone if you long press the power button then it will open this voice assistant application instead of opening your power menu. But if you want to set it to power menu, simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. There on the bottom you will see the option of press and hold power button, click on this. By default it is selected to digital assistant, you have to select power menu. Now if you long press the power button then it will launch your power menu. But if you want to keep this as digital assistant, now if you want to open your power menu then you have to press the volume up button and power button at the same time then it will launch your power menu. You can open your favorite application by just tapping on the back of your phone and you can also trigger any action by just simply double tapping on the back of the phone. To customize this simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. Scroll down there you will see the option of quick launch. Click on this. By default it is enabled but if you want to customize this then click on settings. Here you can set different actions. 
but if you wanna set any of your favorite application then click on open app and then select your favorite application now if you will double tap on the back of the phone like this then it will automatically open that application you can also quickly turn on your camera by just double pressing your power button like this but if you want to disable this then open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures there you will see the option of double press power button and then click on nothing now if you will double press the power button then it will do nothing you can also quickly turn on and turn off your flashlight by shaking your phone like this you have to shake your phone like this twice then it will turn on your flashlight and if you will shake it again then it will turn it off when it comes to customization moto is taking the game to next level you can customize a lot of stuff in the smartphone simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize here you can customize your fonts click on fonts you have different options you can select your favorite one and then come back now if you want to change the icon shape then click on icon shape here you have five different options you can select your favorite one and then click on save as you can see it will change the shape of these icons now if you want to change the ui colors of the smartphone you can also do this simply click on colors you have different options here select your favorite color and then click on save as you can see it will change the ui colors of the smartphone as well you can also change the fingerprint animation click on fingerprint animation here you have three different options select your favorite one and then come back now it will show that specific fingerprint animation whenever you will unlock your smartphone with the help of fingerprint if you are not a fan of this app tray and you want all your apps on your home screen then you can also do this simply open your settings scroll down and then click on home and lock screen there you will see the option of home setting click on this there you will see the option of home screen style click on this by default it is selected to app tray you have to select open and then click on switch it will take few seconds after that it will bring all your apps on your home screen like this and then disable that app tray if you use your smartphone at night a lot then you can use the next two features to protect your eyes simply open your settings scroll down and then click on display the first one is dark theme if you will enable this then it will turn all the whites into blacks and will decrease the pressure on your eyes the second one is here the features name is night light if you will enable this then it will turn the colors of your screen little bit warmer this will also decrease the pressure on your eyes so you can use these two features to protect your eyes you can also read deleted messages from whatsapp instagram etc and you don't have to download any third party app for that simply open your settings scroll down and then click on notifications there you will see the option of notification history click on this and then enable this now if someone will message you it will save all those notifications here and you will be able to read them after he or she will delete it you can quickly open your camera application by twisting your wrist like this twice but if you want to disable this feature then simply open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures again scroll down there you will see the option of quick capture click on this and then disable this now you will be able to open your camera application by moving your wrist like this if you want to disable these three button navigation and change it to gesture navigation then open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures there on the top you will see the option of system navigation click on this and then you have to select gesture navigation now you can go back like this open your recent application like this and also jump to your home screen like this you can also use the volume up and volume down button to change the tracks of your smartphone when you are playing the music to enable this feature simply open your settings scroll down and then click on gestures there you will see the option of media control click on this and then enable this now you can long press the volume up button to change uh, the next song and you can also use the volume down button to change it to previous song this smartphone there is a feature of spot color in your camera application you have to click on more and there you will see the option of spot color click on this now if you will select any color from the photograph then it will only select that specific color and then turn all the remaining image black and white you can use this one feature to click amazing pictures in your smartphone the ratio of the pictures in this smartphone is 3 is to 4 but if you want to select the full screen ratio then simply click on 3 is to 4 and there you will see the option of this icon click on this and then it will turn the photo resolution into full So these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of Moto H50 new smartphone. If you like this video then hit the like button and let us know in the comment section. We will see you in the next one till then. Have fun and keep on exploring your smartphone.